Hey, what's up Marvel Legends fans? This is David Diaz coming back at you with another Marvel Legends video review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Marvel Legends Build a Figure Ultron Infinite Series Grim Reaper from the Ant-Man Wave. Now I have to say guys, this is a really nice figure. Um, This is probably one of the best figure and it's a new body sculpt. Finally Hasbro, finally gave us another body, body uh, uh, how would you say, a body sculpt? Yeah. Just a body sculpt. So it's not, it's kind of between the Bucky Cat mold and the Hyperion mold. Um, they just, I guess they uh, made a better version, which is really nice. Uh, so yeah. Unfortunately, no paint shading. It would be nice. The only shading that is on the figure is probably the cape. So yeah. Uh, before we take a look at the figure, let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see, Grim Reaper, Marvel Legends, Infinite Series by Hasbro. Uh, the top part, of course, is Ant-Man build figure Collection Ultron. Uh, this is probably the Ant-Man movie. Uh, you got Grim Reaper, Marvel Legends, Ant-Man, bio, pause it if you want to read it. And another language. Um, you got the build a figure Ultron, which I'm almost done. I just need uh, Tiger Shark and Giant Man. So really nice. And, of course, Marvel.com. And the bottom, nothing else, and that's all. So, let's take a look at the figure. And here we have the figure. And wow, guys, this is a really nice figure. I have to say, this is probably the best. Like I said, um, we're just going to take him out of the pose, just stand him up straight. And before we do take a look at the figure, let's take a look at the cape. I think the cape is probably uh, another good thing. And I only have one problem with this body sculpt. Uh, I'll show you later. But let's forge. The only thing that I don't like about this cape that I for unfortunately everybody has the same problem with is why is it skinny here and then it, you know, goes, uh, it just weighs here like wider. I don't know. Uh, it should They should have just left it all the same angle because I don't know I've never seen a cape that's skinny from the top and then goes wide from the bottom um, but it does have some paint shading which is really nice it does have it in the inside uh, it's not uh, rubber it's kind of a hard plastic so you can move it around a little bit but it's really nice the cape of course has the peg it's just purple with some shading and that's pretty much it now the body sculpt since this is a new uh, torso, this is a really nice figure because, as you can see, the skull is actually painted on, which is really nice. And you know, it's really uh, I think this is probably one of the best figure of all time. So yeah, so you know, it has a really nice articulation, of course. So, and the head sculpt is just creepy, man. The head sculpt is probably the best from this figure, and I think this is probably one of the best figure of all time. Um, you know, just a creepy frown. Like, I've never seen this kind of character, but it's really nice. So, yeah. So, for articulation, ab crunch, of course. Kind of goes front a little bit, not too much. Back, pretty far. Does have a waist swivel. Arms can go out, not so much. The only thing I'd have a problem with this arm is that it scrapes the plastic from the top. So, which is, it's kind of disappointing, but at the same time, it, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's understandable. Uh, it does his arms can go all the way around like a like a like you, uh, you saw me doing uh, it does have a bicep swivel double jointed elbows wrist swivel also on a hinge that goes up and down thigh swivel arm um, legs can go out that far can go back not so much sideways or outwards not so much either does have double jointed knees which is really good does have a calf swivel boot swivel that goes up that far does go down really far and he does have the ankle pivot which is good so this body sculpt is pretty good it's probably like I said it's between the Bucky cap and the Hyperion let me put the cape back because he doesn't really look good without the cape so yeah and of course this uh, I, don't know, I don't know what we would call this this I don't know what weapon you would call this I guess but it's really nice painted it has some brush you can see it goes dark here and then it goes lighter here, which is nice. And the funny thing is that it says, I don't know if you can see it, if the camera can pick it up. It says R. I'm guessing, that, uh, so the 
uh, peop, uh, the person who are making these uh, figures don't get confused, which is, I guess, uh, okay, but at the same time, it's weird. Oh, he does have a swivel here as well for the uh, weapon arm, because unfortunately, this arm doesn't have a hand. It would have been nice if they can give him uh, interchangeable hands, like all the Marvel Legends do nowadays, but it's not that bad. Uh, the paint, the only thing you would have to watch out, probably the face. Make sure the teeth is painted equally. Make sure his eyes is painted nicely. Make sure the skull or the crossbone is painted nicely. Um, does have some um, silver uh, paint on his uh, forearm with some black lining, which looks clean so far. Uh, so far, I don't I don't see any smudges or bleeding. So yeah, really nice silver paint. I really like this figure. If I had to rate this guy, I would probably give him a 9 out of 10. Or, I'm sorry, a 10 out of 10. This figure is probably a good figure. Um, not the best articulation. It would have been nice if his legs can go outward a little bit farther. But he can't. But it's all good because, you know, he's a really nice character to have in your collection. And he's really creepy by his expression. So, if you guys see this in stores, pick him up. You will not regret it. Uh, and plus, it's a new body mold. So, it's all good. Uh, so let me see if I got a size comparison. Uh, no, he's in a pose, but I, you know I'll show him. Here he is with Bulldozer. I'm gonna review him next. Uh, really nice figure. I really like this figure. Unfortunately, I don't have the Wrecking Crew. Uh, this is the only Wrecking uh, Crew I have so far in my collection. I don't really have the the other characters from the other Marvel Legends. I think uh, two years ago, maybe. But yeah, this is a really nice figure. I really like this. Uh, like I said, if you guys see him in stores, pick him up. Make sure the paint is, uh, you know, painted really well. Make sure there's no bleeding or splotches on the on the figure itself. So yeah. So if you guys, you know, if you guys see this in stores, like I said, pick him up, enjoy him, uh, put him in your collection. And this is uh, that's all I have to say. So, like I said, guys, this is a really nice figure. If you guys need a Grim Reaper in your collection, this is the one for you. If you don't care, if you don't know a lot about this character like I do, but still want to get him, go for it. And if you guys just don't care about this character, then I would say pass. Other than that, it's a really great figure. So that's all I have to say, guys. So please comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And this is David Diaz signing out, and have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys.